One of the most important things in Dragon Dogma 2 is getting money, getting gold. And today I'm going to show you guys two methods that are going to help you guys get a bunch of gold. And you're going to be able to rinse and repeat these over and over by resting and resetting the world. Now the great thing about this, as you're seeing right now on the screen, you get a really good amount of gold. Now I'm going to have two methods. One's going to be for the early stages of the game, which I'll show you first. And one's going to be for the later stages of the game. Very similar methods of rinsing and repeating, you know, like just to make sure that the world resets every three to seven days. But these are really effective and should help you guys throughout your journey. So you guys can not only level up your armor, but buy really awesome stuff in Dragon Dogma 2. So with that being said, guys, if you like gold like I do, hit that like button and let's go right into it. Okay, so what you want to do, guys, is you want to come to this location of the map right here called the Ancient Battlegrounds. All right, so you're going to be able to see a dragon right in front of you in this location and you're just going to want to follow my route so what you're going to do here now this is again is early in the stages of the game so you'll be able to get this really cool uh really fast so you want to go through this uh kind of like gate right there ignore the rest of the ads down here you really don't have to bother and kill them so you could simply go here now you're wondering what bow is that man because i don't have that bow but that bow looks pretty cool i actually have a video here on the channel on how to four times your xp and level up fast and shows the location of this bow, so you're more than welcome to check that out so you're gonna make your way through this uh castle and as you make your way through this castle here, there are going to be a little bit of ads. But the main thing you want to focus on here is the ladders that are going to be on the left hand side. You're going to want to make sure you go up this ladder and then work your way a little bit towards the left hand side. Go up the steps. And then once we get to <clears throat> the tippity top here, there's going to be another ladder to your left hand side as well. There is a chest right there. So if you haven't collected, I suggest you collect it. But go up this ladder, you're going to bump into this uh, eagle, like I like to call him, and just pretty much take him out, depending on what class you are. Uh, you can either throw bows at them, throw magic, you know, throw your knife, do, do, do what you got to do, man. All right, so once you kill that one, you pretty much made it to the entrance of the cave. Now, the great thing about this cave is that there is a resting spot right here where you're going to be able to rest and recycle this over and over so you could do it multiple times. And every single time you kill an enemy, because it's an enemy here we're going to be killing here, you get 10,000 gold. All right, so you see that little fire pit right there? Kill that ad. Once the ad is completely dead, you're going to be getting access to the fire pit. And once you get to the fire pit, all you pretty much have to do is just rest after you kill the ad. All right, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how that's done. So what you want to do here, guys, is take that guy's out and make your way down towards the uh, location of the fire pit. And once you're down to the location of the fire pit, this is going to be your resting spot to save a checkpoint. So you're going to make this your camp, make a camp, and then you guys sh should be good to go. This is going to allow you to rest after you kill the ad. So once you have your camp set up, what you want to do is you're just going to keep saying return till morning, return to afternoon, depending you know on what time you're playing. And you're going to, the boss is going to be located right inside that doorway. So what you want to do, is you want to head towards the doorway and make your way down the cave and then once you get almost towards the end of the exit of the cave this little area right there that is where the boss is at you just kill him after you kill him you go back to your encampment and rest for three to seven days and then the boss will respawn and adding you 10,000 gold coins every single time so this is going to be for the beginners now let's talk about for the more advanced Okay, now for method number two, guys, is you're going to go to this location on the map. This is a little bit further along the game, so you're going to want to make sure you set a portal crystal if you have one, because this is just going to make it a lot easier. You can literally just teleport to this location, and you can literally just rinse and repeat. So as you see here, my crystal is right there. What you want to do is just follow the path that I'm actually taking, because this is going to give you a shortcut to avoid killing the ads uh, and avoid killing the enemies. And you can just kind of parkour your way up here. So you want to make a left, hug the left, and once you hug the left, when you come down this little pathway, there's going to be a couple of enemies. You can literally just kill them and take them out. Uh, and this is going to give you a nice little stepping stone to be able to avoid wrapping around. You can literally just parkour your way up this rock. So you want to do is jump up this rock. Once you're up this rock, you're going to go ahead and mantle to the other rock that's up here in the top. And then just stay on the left-hand side without avoiding to fall down you just want to make sure you stay here and just parkour your way here until you get towards the tent site all right so once you get to the tent site you are you guys are completely you guys already did it correctly so what you want to do now is jump down and when you jump down from the tent you're going to go through this cave now this cave is awesome because once again once you have your portal crystal right there that you can teleport to you can rinse and repeat this every three three to seven days and you're going to find items that are stuck on the wall one tip I want to give you is make sure before you come here that you come very empty with items 
not only you, but also your pawns because you're going to get a ton of loot from here. Okay. You're going to get a lot of loot. So if you notice right here, it's a little bit finicky when it comes to, uh, you know, finding the items on the wall. So you just pretty much want to hug all the wall. At least if this is your first time coming here, it's going to take you a while to figure out where every spot's at. But you know, once you get it done the first time, you're like, know where everything's at and you should just have a nice little go at it. And just check the walls and, and around the walls you're going to find a like a whole set of different items you're going to have find items that you're able to harvest items that just are just primarily stuck in the wall and the reason we're collecting these items is because we're going to go and we're going to go back to the uh, village here and we're going to sell these which are going to give us a lot of coins which are going to we're going to turn into gold so we could go ahead and upgrade our stuff like i said there are a lot of stuff like copper that you're able to farm with your pickaxe there's other stuff that you're able to get off the wall and once you guys learn the complete route of this, it just becomes super duper easy. Now, there are a couple ads, but I mean, I shouldn't even mention them because by the time you get to this location, you guys are pretty much powerful. You pretty much you're just, you know, get, trying to get as much money as you can to buy all the stuff, to do upgrades and stuff like that. So this should be a very simple, uh, you know, dungeon, aka cave that you need to go here. So what you want to do is kind of collect everything you possibly can. You are going to start getting heavy. So when you start getting heavy, these are where the pawns come into play because if you brought your pawns with uh, like, you know, not being heavy, then you could easily just go ahead and transfer the stuff that you have collected in the cave to your pawns. So basically you go to your, your menu, you look for the stuff that you have. For example, here we have some uh, coal. What we're going to do is we're going to transfer it over to our pawn and basically you just want to make sure you're your pawns have almost everything so you guys could go ahead and get all the materials out of here and just make sure you're managing their weight so they can keep up with you as you see right here we're extremely uh we have a lot of weight but since we were able to send some items over to our different characters then this reduces our weight allowing us to be able to get to this location so once we have that guys you're gonna this is just pretty much the entrance and the exit of the cave once you're completely done with the cave system here what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you head back towards the camp, all right? So once you guys are kept back towards the camp, we are then going to go ahead and uh, since you guys see we have our crystal here, we can literally just go to our crystal. As you see, this is the cave, all right? This is the cave. See how cl close it is? So that's the cave. We're going to go back to the portal crystals. And once we have our, our stuff here, we're going to go to the vendor. Now, it doesn't really matter what vendor you go to. You can go to any vendor that's going to be able to, you're going to be able to buy and sell stuff from. And once you talk to that vendor, you're just basically going to go ahead and sell the items. Now, if you want to go ahead and redo this, you just sit on this little bench and rest for seven days or three days. Uh, I don't know exactly the amount of time because I tried both and they both work. Um, and it will automatically reset that cave for you find, uh, where you can find the items again. And basically, it's just a matter of rinsing and repeating. Once you have everything done, talk to the vendor and you're going to go ahead and sell the items. So as you guys see right here, we are going to sell the items and we go from 18,000 K to 21 K. So it's roughly like about 3000, uh, you know, gold that you're able to get every single time you do this. And it's a very good and effective way to get a lot of gold multiple times without having to do the unconventional ways, right? So I hope you guys are finding our videos helpful. If you want to learn how to get XP fast, make sure you guys check out our video linked down below and also in the description. And I'll catch you guys later.